going on guys and gals? I'm your host, Willard Gaming, aka Mr. Willard, and today we are doing some more Death Battle, Ken vs. Terry. Now, I know who Ken is from Street Fighter. Uh, my brother, he plays a little bit of it, oh, a little, he plays a lot of it. He loves Street Fighter, but I don't know who Terry is from King of Fighters. I have no idea who he is. So, I don't really know who to root for. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Original video will be down in the description below. And let's get into it. Everything to in a good way or a bad way. Hey, Wiz, what has blonde hair, wears red, and fights like hell? Uh, today's fighters? Oh, you guessed it. Ken Masters, the street fighting family man. And Terry Bogard, the okay. orphan turned king of fighters. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle. battle. All right, let's see. As the son of a rich hotel tycoon, young Ken Masters wanted for nothing. Stupid rich kids, why don't their parents <laughs> ever teach them any real value? Like squirrel cooking or how to throw a punch. <laughs> well, turns out Ken's an exception. Eager to teach his son some discipline, his father sent him to Japan to okay. train in martial arts. Yeah, turns out Ken's dad was buddies with the master karate hermit, Gokin, who Ken trained under for a decade, alongside a young warrior named Ryu. Under Gokin's eye, Ken was taught the ways of the Ansatsuken, or Assassination Fist, albeit Gokin's own non-lethal variant. He learned techniques like the blast of key energy known as the Hadoken, okay, and okay. also the Tatsumaki Senpukaku. Tatsumaki Senpukaku, also known as the Hurricane Kick. A spinning kick that leaves opponents reeling, but is also pretty good for getting past projectiles. But the move he excels at the most is the Dragon Fist. The Shoryuken! It's a devastating rising uppercut, and Ken's so damn good at it, he can set his whole damn fist on fire! At okay. his best, he can perform the Shinryuken, Ooh. or Divine Dragon Fist. Not only is this attack engulfed in flame, it also creates a vacuum effect, wow. drawing opponents in for multiple okay. strikes. The Shinryuken is the most powerful natural form of the Shoryuken technique. Well, so long as you're not possessed by evil murder energy, but you should watch Ryu vs. Scorpion to learn all about that. With his training complete, Ken returned to America, proving his new discipline and kickassery by winning several fighting tournaments. Including the premier U.S. martial arts tournament, where he won the finals and met his future wife, Eliza. Ho ho ho! That is certainly what I would call a win. Proud of his victories, Ken returned to Gokin's dojo to tell his former master the good news. But he got there a little too late. Dang, missed out on all the finger painting. After meeting Aww. up with Ryu to mourn their master's apparent death, Ken decided to enter the prestigious World Warrior tournaments, just for the chance to fight Ryu again. Oh. But Ken's always fighting, both in and out of tournaments. He takes on anything from crime lords to professional assassins. And he's strong enough to send a man flying 15 feet in the air with a single punch. The force of which would definitely kill an average person, which Ken is anything but. He's strong enough to beat the dictator Bison with Ryu, and he's fast enough to dodge attacks from Akuma, one of the most powerful characters in the Street Fighter universe. Then there was his cage match against the claw-wielding Vega, where he punched him so hard he completely reversed the guy's momentum after he leaped from the ceiling. Doing so oh. after losing tons of blood from dozens of lacerations, and with both of his feet broken and impaled. Considering much of a punch's force comes from the lower half of a person's body, this is practically unbelievable. Talk about endurance. I can see how he got his wife. Okay. The guy's tough enough to oh my over gosh. 100 feet into the really? mud. Really? And then just get up more pissed than anything else. But when it comes down to it, Ken's strongest asset is his conviction to win only made stronger when it comes to defending his friends. Though he is pretty cocky, if he's feeling good about a fight, he'll sometimes just laugh at his opponents instead of finishing them off, leaving himself wide open. Still, if you enter the ring with Ken Masters, chances are you're gonna get burned. Oh. Come on, let's turn up the heat. All right. Harry Bogard was born with nothing to his name. 
Hell, he didn't even have a last name. Stranded oh. with his brother Andy, Terry grew up an orphan on the dangerous streets of Southtown. Until they were adopted by Jeff Bogard, who immediately introduced them to a regiment of bonding and kicking ass. Now that's a good dad. Well, until he got murdered. When he was only they always get years, murdered Terry and all Andy the time. Hopelessly, as their foster father was murdered before their eyes by Geese Howard, a notorious crime lord. Swearing vengeance, the brothers spent the next decade training to one day take down geese. What did Waterfowl ever do to him? N no, not not birds. Geese, geese Howard, the bad guy. Look, Wiz, I know you're not a poultry scientist degree holder like myself, but you should know that the singular term for geese is goose. It's just common sense. Uh, let's <sighs> just move on. As the years went by, Terry became an exceptional martial artist, mastering boxing, karate, kung fu, and kickboxing. He developed an impressive list of techniques, Ooh. like the burn knuckle, a fierce punch surrounded by energy. And the crack shoot, a jumping axe kick. Or he can just punch the ground so freaking hard he makes a power wave, where he sends a deadly wave of energy through the earth towards whatever poor bastard he's fighting. But even after learning all of these, Terry knew he would need more to defeat Geese. Goose. No. Uh, so he oh my his God. His old master, who taught him the secret technique of the Hakyoku Seiken, the art of the eight extremities holy fist. Holy fist, huh? Is that like punching the Jesus into people or something? No, but he is punching with the power of Earth. Fire, wind, water, heart, go, Terry! Okay, sorry, couldn't help myself. <laughs> and in a way with Hakyoku Seiken, Terry can literally pull and channel energy from the earth beneath his feet and with the earth's chi he can uh, advance his boomstick you have got to be level. kidding me like turning his ordinary power wave into the monstrously titanic power geyser apart from that his buster wolf punch puts his burn knuckle to shame and with the star dunk volcano he slams wow, his foes down lot. in a fiery explosion so when Terry was ready to take Geese down, he figured what better way than in the worldwide tourney Geese himself was hosting, the King of Fighters Tournament. And in the end, he most certainly got his revenge in a battle which was apparently so intense, its spectators compared it to a fight between starving <clears throat> wolves, earning Terry the nickname, the Legendary Hungry Wolf. <laughs> That's a badass nickname. Although it turns out Terry didn't kill Geese hard enough. So we got to do it a second time. Oh Not God! That Terry was too weak or anything. For example, in his fight with Jamin, he took a huge explosion in the back, got a car thrown at him, jumped up an elevator shaft as it was blowing up, got blasted in the face with a wall of fire which smashed him into a concrete wall, and answered by power geysering so hard he wrecked the factory he was standing on. He bled wow. everywhere. But then this chick made him better with a good old stripping cuddle. Oh, and that guy jamming? He's fast enough to catch bullets. And strong enough to shoot them back. With his fingers. Not good enough for you? Well, how about the time Terry saved a co-worker from six falling I-beams by smashing them one by one in midair? Keep in mind, a single I-beam is designed to support over 3,000 pounds of pressure. And he wow. took care of it so fast the would-be victim didn't even notice. It's a bit of a shame, then, that at his worst, Terry's a pretty sore loser. Even though his willpower is enough to match the power of Mars, the god of war, an unexpected failure can still really shake him up. But when Terry Bogard sets his mind to something, he'd rather bleed out than walk away. All right, the combats right. are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, Wiz has got something to tell you about saving time and eating food. So, all right, so they did the analysis. They told us all their moves. Now that I know who Ken is, now that I know who Terry is, I don't really know who to go for. I'm not a big fan of any other franchise or any other shows, so. If I had to go with the information they provide, I have to go with Terry. Not because I like him or I favor him, just because by the information they give. But I really don't have a favorite, so I want Terry to win, but I'm okay with Ken winning. So, let's get into it! Well... 
challenge me after some practice. Show me what you're made of. Here we go. Fight. Right. Here I go. See ya. See ya. All right. Okay. Come on, man. Oh, Take hey. this seriously. Holy crap! K.O. Bummer. So, on the bright side, this means Eliza's single now, right? Boomstick. Just saying what we're all thinking, Wiz. Both Ken and Terry had been fighting since they were children, and each won their fair share of tournaments. However, Terry's sheer power proved too much for Ken to handle. Outside of tourneys, Ken's most notable victories were usually only possible because he had help. Sure, Ken's taken down Zangief, Hugo, and Vega multiple times, who are extremely deadly in their own okay. right. But they aren't nearly as heavy hitters as those on Terry's resume, like Krauser and Mars. Also, keeping up with and surpassing Jameen, who can effortlessly catch bullets, proves Terry can match someone over twice the speed of sound. Much faster than anything Ken's ever shown. Man, when Eliza hears about this, she's gonna feel terrible. The winner is Terry Bogart. Next time on Death All right, who's up next? Sonic? Okay. That's your surprise to see me. Or Amy. Oh no. Hey guys, I'm Chad as the Boom. Amy State. Rose. And next time we've got Amy Rose versus Probably not who you think. You can find out who she's fighting first by sticking to our Twitter. That's at ScrewAttack. Speaking of first, you guys can watch all of our death battles and videos that we produce early by becoming a first member. So click the link in the description and start a 30-day free. Amy Rose. That was a surprise. Okay. Because they, they already did Sonic and they did Shadow twice. So, Okay. I wonder who she's gonna face. I have no idea who she would face. And Terry won. Well, I'm happy. I could have. Well, I could. Eh, don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, guys and gals, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for some more death battle. And until then, I will see you guys and gals next time. Yeah! yeah.